Let me tell you a story. A true story, or what happens when two architects with a crazy idea got one million dollars. Okay, okay, let's rewind and see how it all turned out. What could possibly go wrong? That's Martin, an architect and pure minimalist. Following his true passion, he quit his job to start working on his own projects. One of his urban utopias was the half bike. As the name suggests, it has wheels, resembles a bicycle, but it's half in size. You steer with your whole body and guess what? It has no seat. Crazy, right? But Martin is also a maker by heart, so sketches quickly turn into full-scale prototypes, and as expected, the outcome was, yep, kind of disastrous at first, but what the heck? He's never easily discouraged anyway. He kept building and testing until finally something clicked into place. That's when he teamed up with Mihail, a friend from architecture school and a true partner in crime. It didn't take them long to come up with something that looked like a real product. That also looked like a unicorn. They took that as a good sign and hit the launch button. Oddly enough, other people got hooked on the idea too. Now what? With the support from these early backers, the two started making the first 100 half bikes. Packed in a tiny workshop, it took a summer to build the bikes with their bare hands. That's how they learned the craft. With those new superpowers on hand, they ran back to the drawing board to start all over. Soon enough, a new design was born and they couldn't wait to show it to the world. Boom! The project became the most funded vehicle on Kickstarter to date. This caught them by surprise, but they surely knew what to do. Right, guys? The prospect of a full-scale production hell seemed more real than ever. To make things worse, they stayed true to their beliefs about local manufacturing, found a nice place for a workshop, and gathered a brave team of friends and enthusiasts. You go, guys! In six short months, they handmade and shipped thousands of half-bikes all over the world. Little did they know, the best was yet to come. Each half-bike that left the workshop started to write a little story of its own. Yes, countless stories and positive vibes started coming in from all corners of the earth. People kept on finding numerous new applications for the half-bike, sent ideas and recommendations. The team met some great people along the way. People who also felt the need to share this new experience and emotion. People who were just as excited about the half-bike as its creators. For the first time, a true half-bike community was born and the project really started a life of its own. Now, three years later, after all this feedback and lots of drawing board sessions, we redesigned every single aspect of the half-bike. What we really wanted was to redefine the feeling of control. We tweaked the geometry and proportions, made it more ergonomic, user-friendly, and maneuverable. We added more gears and fitted a completely new braking system. The half-bike got smaller, lighter, and stronger. Plus, it has a new quick-release system for even easier folding. What makes us really excited, though, rather than all these improvements, is something else. The dreamy feeling of freedom that we always believed in is now real. Meet the new half-bike.